Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm sorry I didn't post in the past few days, I was kind of busy, but now uh, my time is open and we're going to discuss the one thing that's very important for you to have before you can get, gain rating. And it's actually three things, uh, unfortunately. Uh, neck level, the right essences, and the right gear. Uh, before I actually start going over those, I wanted to thank all of you who have subscribed or liked my videos. Um, I just started and this is great motivation for me, so thank you all. So first things first, uh, neck level. I noticed that a lot of players that are getting back into the game, they have no idea about all the new stuff that's been added to the game. Uh, I've actually healed multiple 2700 players on my druid and they all had no idea what was going on with gear and they were struggling a lot. So the first thing that you need to do is you need, you need to get your neck to at least level 55. And when I say you need to do it, um, I'm actually serious about that. I've actually looked at streams of people who have glad. And they have issues of like beating 1900 to 2k uh, rated teams because of their neck level and the essences and the gear. It just has such a big effect uh, in the game right now. It's actually, I don't like it that much, but it's just the way it is. So you want to get your neck level to uh, 55 at least. And the reason for that is because you get two slots for essences. And uh, it's just major disadvantage if you don't have it okay and the way you want to do uh, the way you want to uh, level up your neck is um, do try to do four islands um, and get you get 3500 artifact power through that and then um, another thing that's helpful is keep an eye out on your emissary quests uh, some of them like this one that you're seeing here uh, awards 3000 artifact power and also, if you're if you're feeling like uh, you want to grind a bit, you can actually look for world quests that give artifact power, uh, especially the ones in Nazjatar give a good amount. Um, and uh, the good news is it doesn't actually take too long to get 55 neck. So um, yeah, so make sure you get that. Okay, so the second thing is you want to get the right essences uh, for your class and for assassination rogue. Um, a lot of gladiators are playing with it's very standard what you want to play with you want to have um, conflict and strife essence uh, which gives you versatility uh, which increases your survivability and damage and it also gives you an extra pvp uh, talent and you get uh, you get the conflict and strife essence by getting 1k plus rating uh, in any in 2v2 or 3v3 rank and you'll get it in your uh, cash at the end at the reset and um, every time you have uh, uh, above a thousand rating you keep on getting um, um, this currency which you can use to actually upgrade your essence um, the second one that you want to actually get uh, <coughs> is a memory of lucid dreams and what this does is that it um, increases your energy regen now i've seen a lot of rogues complain about not having enough energy in arena a big part of it is because they're not using this essence and there's some other things which we will go over um, but um, this is a must so memory of lucid dreams uh, is a must um, you have to use it as a minor when you get two slots uh, for the first one um, you can either use conflict and strife which is in threes it's almost almost compulsory because if you get focused you don't want to die quick um, you can sometimes um, switch it with uh, the crucible of flame um, for the burst damage if you think you can survive and you know if you're versing a healer dps you might think you can you know risk it uh, but that's pretty much it so you want you want the crucible of flame conflict and strife and the memory of lucid dreams and the way you get a uh, memory of lucid dreams is by actually doing the the quest line in Nazjatar. and um, just by doing the quest line you'll get the first one um, and then uh, what you need to do is you need to actually level your companion um, that you get through Nazjatar and um, it, it's actually a grind so you want to actually do it every day so you can only do, you can only do um, three quests a day for your companion so I suggest that every day um, you come you choose your companion and just do the three quests real fast 
um, and get the 300 XP because I think uh, for the level 3 one or for the level 2 one you need to actually get 3000 XP so that that means doing these quests 10 days in a row um, and then you can get your level 3 uh, memory of lucid dreams which is very very huge for assassination rogue because it just gives you so much energy regen and at level 3 it also gives you versatility as well which is even better Right, so the, the third thing that we want to talk about is gear, and gear is super important um, in Arena this season. You want to go for two stats. You want to go for versatility and haste. Uh, my versatility is not that good. Um, haste is, is decent. Um, you want to try to aim for 20% or higher. And the reason you want to do that is, well, versatility is obvious. It um, reduces damage, increases damage, so it's great. And haste is good because one, it makes your bleeds tick faster. And as a result, uh, because of your master, I think it's called the seal of the void. Um, because of the venomous wound, um, your energy regen increases. Okay, so not only does your energy regen increase because of um, just just what haste does, it also uh, makes it so your venomous wounds um, actually procs more often. Um, so that's why haste is so important. And a lot of you who are struggling with energy regen is either because of stats. Or it's because you're not putting bleeds on 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 the targets, and you're not keeping it up on on, on one or two targets, and <clears throat> and the third one is because you probably don't have the uh, essence, the memory of lucid dreams essence. Um, after that, um, let's talk about the actual um, Azerite traits that you're looking for. Um, you want to have three twist uh, twist the knife um, traits on your gear. Um, and what this does, it increases your envenom damage, and that's, and it increases its duration, so it's huge. Um, so you want to have three of those, and uh, one other thing that you want to have is um, shrouded suffocation. You want to have one of those as well. And what it does is, when you do a garrote, um, it generates two additional combo points. So as long as you have these uh, traits, the rest is not that big of a deal. Um, so. You know that's you know that's quite a bit of work getting all of those and then you know just having high eye level is important in arena because you see those high HP bars and it just affects your damage so much and unfortunately there's no there's no way of getting good gear through PvP and you have to do it through Mythic Plus and that's unfortunate but it's just the way it is and I just want wanted you guys to know that so. Um, you know, if you want to stand a chance in arena and, and actually climb, you want to get those pieces uh, in place first, and then actually go for the, you know, actually go for climbing rating. And you can still, of course, play arena, but chances are you're not going to be able to climb higher than a specific rating. And yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope the video was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm gonna have much more videos coming soon. So make sure you subscribe and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.